For over half a century, club racing has been part of Colorado and the Rocky Mountain region. From the competitive production and formula cars of the SCCA to the grace, color, and speed of vintage racing. It's where you'll find doctors competing against accountants, engineers driving hard to beat an ad exec into a corner, and a school teacher from Boulder happy because she just beat her husband's best lap time. For over 20 years, Second Creek Raceway has been the home to clubs like the Sports Car Club of America, Rocky Mountain Vintage Racing, Nostalgia Racing, and the Porsche Club of America. Long-standing non-profit organizations dedicated to the safety as well as the enjoyment of motor car racing. Amateur racing clubs are made up of men and women that live and work in the Rocky Mountain region. Regular people just like you. They're your neighbors and their stories on how they got started and why they love it are as different as the cars they drive. Oh, about 20 years ago, I was involved with BMW Car Club of America, and I would go to driver's school so I could learn to be a better driver, and we would go watch vintage racing, and one day I said, I want to do that, and here I am today. I love doing it, because you think about the moment and everything else that you do during the week isn't there anymore, just right now and the next corner. My car is a 1969 Winkleman Formula Ford, um, lovingly restored by my husband. I've been driving it for about six years. Well, vintage racing is much more about the cars and less about the driver. So there's a great deal of pride in driving a beautifully prepared and restored vehicle and then driving it well. And by driving it well, I'm talking about being a worthy competitor, meaning that those people with whom you run, run respect you and you continue to improve your driving skills over time. I've been racing for about 25 years. I got started as a, as a wild street kid that had too much energy and wanted to go really fast in all the wrong places and come to find out that you could actually make some money doing it in the right place, so here I am. I actually started racing doing autocross and then I went to motorcycle racing and did motorcycle road racing for a long time and then I decided to get back into cars. The club racing is convenient, it's less expensive, uh, and you can keep your skills really high. At the national level, the competition's really good and we all shoot for the runoff and the top drivers in the country come down there. Amateur club racing is not NASCAR. It's not the Indy Racing League, Formula One, or CART. It operates on a small scale. There's no prize money. Drivers compete for the love and challenge of the sport. There are few, if any, spectators, and the ones that do come are usually invited by the people participating in the event. There is no alcohol permitted anywhere in the race area while the event is going on. Unlike NASCAR and Indy Racing League events, club racing has no television coverage, no media of any kind. Race cars that run at Second Creek are under the jurisdiction of the general competition rules of racing as written by the individual clubs. Regulations ranging from body type, tires, safety equipment for the car and driver, even noise. Any car or driver that can't comply can't participate in an event, no exceptions. Second Creek also plays host to high-performance driving schools, as well as crash and burn rescue training for the police and fire departments of Denver, Commerce City, and Boulder. I'm pleased to see that, that uh, for instance, SCCA, any vintage for that matter, the smaller bore cars you see, the older MGs, uh, the uh, Mazda Miatas, have become very popular because a working person can can afford to race one. Please feel free to visit any of our websites for more information on membership and upcoming events.